Hey, I'm Tommy Z, and welcome back to Tommy Z Travels. When preparing for a trip, I always make a checklist. But even with a checklist, you still get that sinking feeling like something's missing. So what to add to that checklist? Well, obviously you want your essentials. Toothbrush, toothpaste, medications you might need. But besides those essentials, what else do you need? Today, I'll go over a few things that I find essential that may be overlooked. Before I begin, none of the items shown are sponsored or discounted. These are my own opinions with no endorsements of any kind. So here are Traveling Essentials Part 1. We're going to start today with a battery bank. When traveling, I've noticed that a lot of airplanes seem to have half-working USBs or really slow-charging USB ports. So for those longer trips, you're going to want a battery bank. And also, when you leave your accommodations, you're going to want to make sure that your phone and cameras are all charged up at any given time. I chose this Odeck battery bank. They actually come in a two-pack, one black, one white, so I was able to get my fiance one. 10,000 milliamp hours gives you some decent charging time. Two USB ports gives you the ability to charge two devices with 2.4 amps on each output. I've used it to charge my Note and my GoPro at the same time with no issues. And what I like most is the slim design, so it's very easy to pack. Wall chargers with the 3.0 output definitely charge faster, but for traveling around, this'll do. Now for charging at the accommodations. I use this Amoner 3-in-1 port charger. If you have multiple devices like me, it works great. It comes in a two-pack as well, so you have plenty of charging for yourself and others in your party. So if you have multiple devices, this is a must-have for your travels. It's a pretty standard USB charger, but with the three ports, it really helps. Next one is a little more expensive, but for frequent travel, especially in sketchier areas, it's a must-have. For this, I use the PackSafe LS200. This sling bag has plenty of pockets and compartments, great locking designs to make it difficult for people to get in without you knowing. It also has an internal stainless steel skeleton that helps prevent anybody from cutting in as well. Perfect for day trips for areas where you still need a pack but a little bit on the lighter side. To show you an example of how this works, you have your locking mechanism here that doesn't allow to open. So you would have to physically click it to the side, pull back, in order to pull the zipper up and then open. Now the front has the Velcro, so you might be able to hear that, but if it's noisier, you, you still have to slide this tab down, push this in, and release the zipper. That still only gives you this much, so to get the full thing, you'd have to release both zippers in order to get into the front pocket. I also like that it has a couple side pockets in order to carry your water bottles. I'd also like to point out that it has an RFID blocking compartment for your credit cards, passport, or anything that you don't want scanned. But in general, I think it's a perfect size for most of your day trips. Decent size, and you can carry it right here on your side or on your front like a sling bag. And to me, it's a must have. Lastly, and I think this may be one of the most important and overlooked items. As bags are handled and sent down through the carousels, I notice many bags are missing this one important item. A lock. Many people know that TSA sometimes has to open their bags, so I think many people don't put one on. And to me, this is a vital part of travel. This forged lock is TSA certified so that it won't cause any issues at the airport. For checked bags, just lock up. If they need to open it, the TSA key that the staff has can open the locks. There are several different keys which on the side of the lock will have an ID for the TSA agent. For your carry-on bag, just put it on one of the zippers, that way you can go through with security easier. With this in mind, when I'm using a bigger load than what my pack safe can carry, I'll have to bring a backpack. So what you'll do with that is wrap it around two of the zippers, close, and lock, and now nobody can get inside. I chose blue being my favorite color, but they do come in a ton of different colors. This just gives me a little peace of mind that all of my stuff will be safe. If you're interested in any of these items, I have the Amazon links in the description below. I hope this video helps you find a few less thought about items to make your travels a little easier and safer. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe and like button below. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.